have downloaded your picture to the desktop, you'll double click on it and notice up at the top there is a little menu icon that is a toolbar. Your markup toolbar may look a little different than mine because I have a newer version, but look for the little toolbox and click on it. When you click on that, it's going to open up a menu of annotation tools. To be able to add text to your photo, just click the icon that says T for text, and when you click on that, the text will appear. To be able to change that from text to what you want to type, just click in there and begin typing. Now, if you want it to be a different color, just highlight one of the words or just a portion by double clicking and then come up here to the A and select whatever color you would like your text to be. You cannot have multiple colors of text in the same text box. It's not set up to do that. You can also make your text not bold or bold it, underline it, italicize it, and you can also change the size and whatever font you want to use. To be able to move it, just click out and then come back in and when you see the hand, you'll be able to grab it and move it wherever you would like. Another annotation tool that you will probably use will be to add arrows pointing out significant landmarks in your photos. Click, find the shapes icon and inside the shapes icon will be the arrow. When you click on it, it will automatically place an arrow on your, on your photo that you can adjust to be able to point out specific points of interest. Again, you can change the color of your arrow by clicking on the outline or border color and when you click on that you'll get a menu of color options also to determine the width or style of your arrow find the three weighted lines and select whichever weight you would like also you may want to use a star to be able to point out a notable feature or area. Notice my star has two colors. That's because it's outlined. If I want to take the outline off, then I would click on the outline or border color icon and select the option with the red line through it. That removes the border and then I can make my star a little bit smaller. And I click on text, I'm going to paste my citation in there. Now notice you can't really see it, so I may want to change that and add a little background to that. So I can come over here and add a white background, and maybe I want it a little bit smaller, like maybe 18 point font. So now I have my citation on my photo that I'm going to be using for my animated GIF. Once you are done with your photo, then all you have to do is close your photo. Your annotations will automatically save.